Silent Hill 2 is the second installment in the Silent Hill Survival Horror series, the first game of the series to be released on Sony PS2. The game was developed by Team Silent and published by Konami. It launched in North America on September 24, 2001. James Sunderland has arrived in the town of Silent Hill after receiving a letter from his wife Mary despite the fact that she had died from a chronic disease three years ago. The letter claims that Mary is waiting for James in a special place. This confuses James. James doesn't seem to be in his right state of mind and he arrives in the town of Silent Hill. Silent Hill 2 is my favorite game in the franchise. It was well received by fans of the series. Some claim it to be the best in the franchise. James wonders if the letter is a prank by someone with a twisted sense of humor. He notes that the letter is definitely written by Mary, it's in her handwriting. The author is aware that James once made a promise to return to Silent Hill with Mary, and that he never fulfilled this promise. After leaving the town's observation deck and walking to Silent Hill, James enters a graveyard and meets Angela Orozco. Angela seems to be a paranoid, nervous young woman who came to town and is searching for her mother. She warns him that there is something wrong with the town and that it could be dangerous, but he ignores her Excuse warnings, me. saying that he doesn't care if it's dangerous. He plans on finding his missing someone as well. It's okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? Yeah. I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? James reaches Silent Hill. He discovers that it's not the same beautiful town it was a few years ago. In addition to the bizarre ominous fog, the whole town seems to be rotting away and abandoned. James then decides to pass through an apartment complex to reach what he believes could be the special place Mary mentioned in her letter. Shortly after entering the apartment complex, James comes across a humanoid monster whose head is completely obscured by a giant metal pyramid-shaped helmet. It's believed that Pyramid Head is the manifestation of James's guilt and his own personal demons. The Pyramid Head will be seen several times throughout this game. He follows James through Silent Hill and James encounters him several times. Later, James meets a young man, Eddie, who is vomiting into an apartment toilet. 
Eddie defensively responds to questions regarding a corpse in the floor of the apartment room. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. Do what? I didn't do anything. I, I swear. He was like this when I got here. My, uh... My name's James. James Sunderland. Um, Eddie. Eddie. Who's that dead guy in the kitchen? I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill anybody. You're not friends with that red pyramid thing, are you? Red pyramid thing? I don't know what you're talking about. Honest. I did see some weird looking monsters. They scared the hell out of me, so I ran in here. Well, I guess this place isn't too safe either. What happened here anyway? Uh, I, I told you, I don't know. I'm not even from this town. I just, I just. You too, huh? Something just brought you here, right? Uh, um, yeah, you could say that. Well, whatever it is, I think you better get out of here soon. Yeah, you're right. What about you? I'll leave as soon as I'm done here. Eddie, be careful. Soon enough, James encounters the pyramid head once again. He finds himself trapped inside of the room with the pyramid head. Here is where James has his first encounter and fight with the red pyramid. When James finally reaches Rosewater Park, he meets a woman named Maria, who appears to be nearly identical to his recently deceased no, wife Mary, but showing off more skin and possessing like more of an arrogant friend. attitude during their time together, Maria reveals insight into matters that only he or Mary would know, and acts in a very seducive manner towards James. Your face. Your Maria accompanies James in his attempt to reach his second suspected special here? place. James enters Pete's Bolo Rama where he meets Eddie again. He also spots the little girl who runs away from James upon seeing him. Eddie then reveals to James that her name is Laura. After passing through Heaven's Night, James and Maria see Laura enter the Brookhaven Hospital, so they follow. While exploring the hospital, Maria becomes sick. She decides to rest inside of a hospital room. James. <coughs> Wait a minute. <coughs> I'm kind of tired. <laughs> it's just a hangover. Soon after, James finds Laura in one of the rooms, so it becomes angry with her after she claims that she knew Mary in the past year. This is a clear contradiction to what James believes. Laura responds by locking him in the room, filled with covered monsters, stuffed and hanging Mary? in cages, oh, Maria. under the pretense of looking for the letter for his wife. I thought you were... sorry. James later finds Maria in the hospital basement. Anyway, However, I'm Maria becomes very angry, claiming that James had anyway, abandoned her, and that he doesn't anyway? care if she lives or dies. Very 
Soon after, Pyramid Head appears and chases both James and Maria through the hospital's basement. The creature manages to slaughter Maria while they attempt to make their escape. Alone again and saddened by the loss of Maria, James decides to refocus on the original task of finding Mary. Later, once again, James comes across Eddie, who is standing over another corpse. Calm down, Eddie. James what questions Eddie that about guy, the killings. Eddie defensively him. denies them he once again. Anything. He just came after me. Besides, he was making fun of me with his eyes, like that other one. Just for that, you killed him? What do you mean, just for that? Eddie, you can't just kill someone because of the way they looked at you. Oh yeah? Why not? Till now I always let people walk all over me. James later discovers that Angela killed her father who sexually and physically abused her. James saves Angela from a monstrous representation of her father. Later, once again, James comes across Maria as she has been killed Maria? once again. This seems to be a reoccurring coincidence in James's journey through Silent Hill. Maria? He seems to be seeing Maria, Maria be killed no. several times. What happened to you? Why? Why? Once again, James finds Eddie, who seems to have mentally snapped after a life of bullying and verbal abuse by his peers due to his physical appearance and him being overweight. You make me sick. Fat ass, you're nothing but a waste of skin. You're so ugly, even your mama don't love you. Well, maybe he was right. Maybe I am nothing but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you're smart, dumb. Eddie then reveals he killed a dog of a bullying football player and then shot the dog's owner in the leg. It becomes clear that Eddie is mentally unwell and is willing to kill the next one to laugh at him. If anyone makes fun of me, I'll kill him. Just like that. James then questions his perception of events leading to his arrival in the town, as well as the letter he supposedly received from Mary, indicating that the letter itself was something that never actually existed. After the fight with Eddie, James exits the labyrinth and rows a boat to find Lakeview Hotel in hopes of finding Mary. In the hotel's restaurant, James finds Laura, and she gives him the letter she claimed to be seeking earlier, which reveals that Mary wanted to adopt her, while confirming that Laura claims of knowing Mary in the past year. In room 312, James watches a videotape he apparently left at the hotel three years ago, which shows that he killed his terminally ill wife by smothering her with a pillow. I don't know why, but I just love it here. It's so peaceful. You know what I heard? This whole area used to be a sacred place. I think I can see why. It's too bad we have to leave. Please promise you'll take me again, James.
James then sits in silence, finally realizing what he has done and facing up to his psychological guilt. James finally comes face to face with the truth. He finally realizes what exactly he has done. This is what brought James to Silent Hill. James once again finds Maria resurrected, bound and screaming for James's help. Stop! Leave her alone! But, however, she is immediately killed by two pyramid heads. James starts to realize that they have been created to punish him for his sins. He then proceeds to fight the duo. I was weak. That's why I needed you. I needed someone to punish me for my sins. But that's all over now. I know the truth. Now it's time to end this. After they had been sufficiently weakened, they impel themselves with their own spears, as if to indicate that their purpose had been fulfilled. Mary? What do you want, James? I, uh, I brought you some flowers. Flowers? I don't want any damn flowers. Just go home already. Mary, what are you saying? Look, I'm disgusting. I don't deserve flowers. Between the disease and the drugs, I look like a monster. W what are you looking at? Get the hell out of here! Leave me alone already! No use to anyone. I'll be dead soon anyway. Maybe today. Maybe tomorrow. It'd be easier if they'd just kill me. But I guess the hospital is making a nice profit off me. They want to keep me alive. Are you still here? I told you to go! Are you deaf? Don't come back! James! Wait! Please don't go! Stay with me! Don't leave me alone! I didn't mean what I said! Please, James! Tell me I'll be okay! Tell me I'm not going to die! Help me! James then enters a large metallic complex with a long staircase. James proceeds to the top. At the top of the staircase, on the roof, he finds a woman, resembling Mary. Mary? When will you ever stop making that mistake? Mary is dead. 
You killed her. Maria, it's you. But I don't need you anymore. What? You must be joking. But I can be yours. I'll be here for you forever. And I'll never yell at you. Or make After you becoming bad. angered by James, That's what you wanted. Mary then transforms into a manifestation of a wicked monster. Upon defeating this demon, the game will come to a close. No, I won't let you. You deserve to die too, James. I'll be honest guys, Silent Hill 2 is my favorite game in the series. After defeating Mary's abomination, the game will come to an end. There are several endings to this game, all depending on your decisions you make during the game. I find Silent Hill 2 to have one of the best, most intriguing stories in the franchise. So many twists, so many turns, especially on your first playthrough. I will always remember my first playthrough of this game. I enjoyed most games in the Silent Hill franchise, especially the first four by Team Silent. However, I do find this one to be my favorite, and I think a lot of other people do as well. Silent Hill 2 is held in high regard by many in the fan base, and is beloved. Even after all these years later, the game still holds up and is a disorienting masterpiece. That is your Silent Hill 2 retrospective, one of my favorite games of all time, probably my favorite in the series. Uh, if you guys liked the video, hit that thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, um, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you're informed when we come out with new content. And also share share the video if you enjoyed it. I'd like for uh, more Silent Hill fans to be able to see this video and, and to kind of chat amongst uh, you know like-minded individuals who also love this game and games in this series. Uh, probably my favorite. Um, survival horror series of all time so I really enjoy doing these videos and I will be doing more of them and uh, I just want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one